everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am unboxing a Connie Lowe large pearl doll. Now if you've been watching my channel for a while you may know that I am trying to collect all of the Stella family in the large size. I am very fortunate that I have them all in the small size but I have been going to shows for since 2017 and Connie's been at every show pretty much that I've been to so I've been able to slowly amass this collection for a while though i had decided i only wanted the small ones and that's why i have all the small ones but lately i had decided you know what i want to get all the big ones too and i probably shouldn't even be making this video because guess what you know it's they're very difficult to get they're extremely oh this is beautiful this is so beautiful oh wow so dear allison sending love and this is let me tell you that's gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. So let me tell you about how I came by this pearl. Connie did a special sale of pearl dolls in on Facebook um, in January. She sold six herself and then there are two groups for Connie's dolls. There's the Stella Squad, which is just the Stella family, and the admin for that group is Julie, so Julie sold six. And then there is the Connie Lowe Marbled Halls group, and Corey is the admin for that group, and he sold six. So there were a total of 18 dolls. Well, anyway, Corey had asked the question in the group, um, who's excited about the sale? And I said, I am, because I was going to try to get one of them. And it, it's one of those things where you have to be first to, like, um, say mine. Well, my friend who made this beautiful card, reached out to me and offered to sell me hers. And so that was such a relief to me because I was able to buy her. I didn't have to compete in the um, with the other people. And it also freed up a pearl for somebody else in the event that I would have actually gotten one, which who knows. But here's the COA. And Pearl has the sweetest face. Um, she's just so gorgeous. My friend Lindsay, um, who always travels to Modern Doll with me, she, Pearl is her favorite of Connie's dolls because she's just got this sweet, sweet, sweet face. I'm still trying to convince her to get a BJD. She only has one BJD so far, but we'll work on that. Oh my gosh. Now this is Pearl in pink. She is the pink resin tone. The only other pink resin tone doll I have is my little ginger from Modern Doll Collector's Convention last year. She was the, um, she was the event doll. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love her already. I'm so, I'm so excited. I don't have one of the large dolls in this size. So this is the smaller size. Um, it's the smaller size of the large size. So the large ones, they come in three sizes. There's pearl size, which is this size. There's Stella size, which is the original size. And then there's Ruth size, which is taller. Um, the two dolls that are, this pimento is very interested in this. The two dolls that are this size right now are Pearl and Beatrice. No, Pearl and Ginger. Beatrice, Beatrix is coming um, to BJDC this year. She sold out really fast. So anyway, very exciting stuff. And again, I'm, it's, these dolls are really difficult to get at the moment. I'm lucky because I, I go to so many shows. Like I said, I have, I have a bit of an opportunity to do that. Um, oh, I'm just really excited to hold her. I haven't even revealed her face yet. So my friend told me she put eyelashes on her, which Connie doesn't normally do. And she said, you can pull them off if you want to. Um, which I may, I may just leave them on. I, they, they're a little bit, let's see, I'm going to pull her wig down so you guys can see her with her full, oh, she's so sweet. She is so sweet. Just check her out. Oh my gosh, I love her. I am so grateful to have been able to adopt her and she came with her full outfit. So she's probably one of the, when Connie was still doing pre-orders, um, this was the last pre-order she did was for the Little Pearls. She's not doing pre-orders for anymore. She's just doing like sales on Facebook as she has dolls available and shows and stuff like that. Um, which I can't blame her. It's probably a lot less stressful to do it that way. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her pigtails. Oh, I love this pink skin tone so much. So yeah, my friend was telling me, she's like, I had a moment with eyelashes and I was putting eyelashes on everything. I'm just going to bend her eyelashes. I'll probably just leave them on there. They're really cute, actually. So there she is. Oh, she's so sweet. And it's funny because I haven't held one in this size. I've got the Stella and I've got an Alice. So now I have one in all three sizes because I've got Stella is like this. I've got Stella and 
Maylee, which are the mid-size, and then I've got Alice, which is taller. So I still need <laughs> Ruth and Hazel, and then um, Ginger, and then of course the new doll that's coming out. I'm trying to go back and get the older dolls, big dolls first, just because the new dolls are the ones that everybody's trying to get. Like right now, Ginger's what's hot and everybody really wants one. Of course, I'd love to have one, but I would like to get a Ruth and a Hazel first, just so I can kind of, I love that she's wearing pink. And see, here's the fun thing. The fabric choices that Connie does, like you've got this like, what is this plaid? It's not plaid, is it? Gingham? I don't know what the right word for this type of fabric is. And then you've got the polka dots and it's just fun the way the fabrics are mixed. And then look, you've got the little pocket, like pale, pale pink pocket with blue flowers, which ties together all the blue socks and the blue shoes, which is just so much fun. And I believe they paint all of these shoes. I believe her and her hubby like paint the doll shoes like to make each one, you know, have that unique touch from them. But she's just the sweetest. Oh my goodness. I absolutely adore her. I'm so grateful to my friend for allowing me to adopt her because she is just, she is just precious. You know what, I'm gonna find, and look at, look at that sass. I love the way they kind of hold their hands out like very sassy very and that's the the kind of the character that the dolls have and if you want to learn more about these um i did a video called iconic doll i did an iconic doll on stella and so i talked about her and i think i put the family members in it too but if you'd want to see a video of all of my stella family dolls let me know and i can try to put that together at some point over the next couple of weeks just to show them all to you um, but I think they might all be in that iconic doll Stella episode. But I need to find something really cute. I'm find something cute to put in that little pocket. Won't that be cute? Won't that be cute, Pimento? Don't you think so? I, I had to physically go to work today. I know, woe is me. I know. And um, the cat misses me while I'm while I'm gone during the day. So he's he's right here, right here with me. But I've been looking forward to opening her all day because I knew I was going to get to come home and open her today. And she is just perfection. I'm really like so grateful to have been able to adopt her. Isn't her face just so sweet? Like that little kind of side smirk. And she's just, she's just got the sweetest expression. And another thing I love about these dolls is like the sculpting on the ears. I really love the ears. I like, I like when doll ears are really well sculpted. And these are really well sculpted. I just think she's just the cutest. She's just so cute with that little smirk. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments below if you want to see a video of like the whole Stella family. Again, I think it might, they might mostly be in the Iconic Doll Stella video, but I think I might have gotten, I may have made that before Modern Doll, so I got a doll or two since then. But anyway, if you want to see that, let me know and I'll try to put that together. But Big, big thank you to my friend for letting me adopt her. I'm so excited about that. Because y'all, when they go up for sale, it is so competitive. And the secondary market prices are a lot. And my friend gave me a really great price on this and just allowed me to bring her home. And I'm very grateful and thankful. Like just so excited to be able to bring her home. So anyway. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. I want to say a huge thank you to my patrons from Patreon. Lindsay S., Leah W., Doreen Z., Janice H., Mercedes W., Cindy K., Bear Sunflower, Diane B., Kelly L., Shorna R., Stephanie W., Jessica S., Ray M., Shalane C., Penny P., Louisa's Knickknacks, Marty G., and Lynn. Your support means so much to me and helps me continue bringing you great Dolly content. For more information on how you can become a supporter in this, of this channel, please see the link in the video description. Thank you!